Simplification is one of the basic tools for solving equations. Simplification means any action taken on the equation that makes it more organized, concise, and easy to understand. It is important to mention that it is applied to specific terms and not to the entire equation. That's manipulation and we'll touch it later. Some examples are combining like terms, resolving parentheses, factoring or, or expanding, that's the opposite, and also canceling common factors. Let's review these examples. So what is combining like terms? This means collecting the terms of the same degree and combining them into a single term. For example, if we have the polynomial 65 minus x plus 2x squared minus 5x squared plus 4x minus 3, that's a bit long and unorganized. So we start by organizing the, uh, organizing the polynomial. We define the degrees of the terms, then we reorder them, and then we combine these like terms, we call these the like terms, 2x squared and minus 5x squared are like terms, and we combine them into one. So we get a shortened and more organized version of the polynomial, which is minus 3x squared plus 3x plus 62. For resolving parentheses, we use the distributive property and to remove the parentheses. This means multiplying any terms inside the parentheses by the factor. Often this is a preliminary step for combining like terms. For example, x times in parentheses 2 plus x plus 2 times in parentheses 3x squared minus x. So we multiply x by 2 and x to get and we multiply 2 by 3x squared and x, and we get 2x plus x squared plus 6x squared minus 2x. The like terms are already marked in color. This way we can reorganize the polynomial and combine the like terms into a shortened version. In this case we see that x uh, squared plus 6x squared equals 7x squared, but 2x minus 2x equals 0x, which can be ignored. So this entire preliminary version of the equation was simplified to simply 7x squared. Factoring is breaking down a polynomial expression into simple, simpler factors. For example, 2x to the power of 5 minus x to the power of 4 can be factored. Both terms include x to the power of 4. So we can pull it out and place the rest of the expression in parentheses. 2x to the power of 5 is x to the power of 4 times 2x. And x to the power of 4 is x to the power of 4 times minus 1. Expanding is very similar to resolving parentheses, but specifically it refers to products of binomials, monomials, etc. So let's take for example x minus 3 in parentheses times 4 minus x squared in parentheses, and I refer only to this part of the, uh, of the polynomial at the moment. In order to expand it, we need to, to multiply each of the terms by the other terms in the other parentheses. So we need to have x times 4 minus x times x squared minus 3 times 4 minus 3 times minus x squared. And then we get 4x minus x to the power of 3 minus 12 plus 3x to the power of 2 and then the rest plus 6x minus 3. Then we continue to reorganize the polynomial and combine like terms if needed. Last example of simplification is canceling common factors. This may remove fraction lines or significantly simplify the fraction. Let's look for example at this rather complicated fraction. 12 pi times in parentheses x squared plus 8x divided by 4x pi. 
you can do two things to simplify this fraction. First, 12 pi can be written as 3 times 4 pi, and x can be factored out of the parentheses. This is x times x gives x squared, and x times 8 gives 8x. The denominator at the moment is 4x pi. So we have 4x pi above and 4x pi below, and these can be cancelled and removed from the fraction. So we cancel the fraction line and are left with 3 times x plus 8, which is simply 3x plus 24. You would agree with me that that's a much simpler version than this version that we see at the beginning. This summarizes canceling common factors and simplification. We'll deal with manipulation shortly.